We are taking you inside the Kentucky Derby Museum vault this morning, showing you some historic items that rarely get seen, but we're giving you a sneak peek today. We're going to go right over to the Derby Museum right now. Jessica, I understand you have some very special things to, to show us because uh, you only can put so many items actually out on display. And I'm just always fascinated by what you have in the vault. What do you have for us? That's right, yeah, we have um, over 10,000 items in our collection. And so we're only able to display in our museum about 5% of that collection at any given time. So it's really fun for us to bring the items that normally stay in storage for a little period of time out to show to everybody. So I brought a couple items here that are really connected to important icons of the Kentucky Derby. And of course, we all recognize what this trophy is. This of course is the gold cup that gets presented each year uh, to the winning owners of the Kentucky Derby in that wonderful win uh, winner's circle. Uh, and this sketch actually is uh, the sketch done by the artist who designed this derby trophy way back in 1924. We have that original sketch that he made before they made the prototype of that first gold cup. And I know you all have been showing the gold cup uh, here recently. It's been on display. Can people still come by and see it this week? Absolutely. So the next time it will be on public display is on Wednesday. So you can come to our second floor and you can check out that really great, beautiful, shiny gold cup that's going to be on display from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. this Wednesday. You know, when we think of the Derby, we think of that kind of iconic call to post, you know. You all have, uh, Steve Buttleman has actually donated. Look at that, oh my gosh. Right, yeah, speaking of beautiful, shiny things, uh, Steve Buttleman used this at Churchill Downs between 2005 and 2010. And then uh, he donated this to the museum. And it's a really special part of our collection because, of course, when we hear that call to post, we all know that that race is so close, that we are so close to having a new Derby winner. Um, and so it just gets us hyped up. And we love having this little piece of history that reminds us of that beautiful tone from that bugle. It makes me wonder, like, how many does he have? <laughs> like, that, is a good question. that is a good question. I'll have to ask him next time I see him. <laughs> you know, um, the, the things I start thinking of, how many? And what do you have to do to care for them? I mean, it's, you know, it's a part of history, absolutely. That's right, that's right, and yeah. Well, Jessica, it's always talking to you is like stepping back into Travel Channel or Mysteries at the Museum or something. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing all that information with us. We love catching up with you. Happy Derby Week. Happy Derby Week, too. And once again, when can people go to the museum if they want to get that glimpse of the Gold Cup? That's right. If you want to come to the Kentucky Derby Museum on Wednesday, this Wednesday of Derby Week, from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m., you will have that trophy on display before it goes out to the winner's circle this Saturday. Wonderful. Jessica, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you.